Hello everyone, this is Rich, this has been his Mad Cat Sphere. And I wanted to talk about um, how to develop a G energy cultivation. Uh, energy cultivation is basically when you're developing uh you're you're developing your own um personal energy. And by doing that, the energy doesn't always have to be just physical, but rather it's a psychological and a thought process energy, focus and memory and all that to maintain a, a state of uh, emotional um, emotional belief and confidence that's energy too when you're believing and having confidence that's also energy development when you're carrying that that's energy um, cultivation and development and the thing is, is that for psychonesis telekinesis all this stuff but the thing is is that um, there is there's this other abilities that you guys can do too and that is the uh, being able to um, do um, the Koi Gong exercises. Those are very, very good. The Koi Gong exercises from ancient Chinese kind of practice where um, you're, get, you're able to get up and you're able to do these kind of hand gestures, body motion, breathing in and out. Sometimes they incorporate breathing in and out, not all the time. But they go like this, and they go like this, and they're moving the hands like this, and like this. And that's just, uh, it's good for people that are uh, older to help them with joint structure and re, re, uh, restructure uh, uh, um, proper joint development and continue the joint to kind of maintain itself and blood flow that's all good for all ages doesn't matter who, how old you are but it's she energy uh, cultivation because you're having the blood flow there's activity there's energetic activity in the body and that's real good too that, that that's called koi gong exercise so you want to look it up it's called it, the way you spell it is a uh, q i g O N G Gong Koi Gong exercise. That's how you then look it up on YouTube and then that that's it. It just has all these all types of them, you know, all types and also there's meditation and there's breathing exercises. Meditation is pretty much self-explanatory. You guys already know what it is. You sit with your legs crossed and you sit and meditation isn't as mysterious and as difficult as you think it is. Meditation is something that is easily uh it, it um um any form of focus. Whether you're uh, riding a bike alone, you know, down the desert, you know, you let your, you have your headphones on, or you're just listening to the to the sounds of nature, going to the forest and walking in the, doing a walking trail in the forest, and you're in the zone. That's 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 a form of meditation. When you're in a state of focus, that's a form of meditation. So meditation is actually very easy. You just sit down, you just focus on one thing in your mind, you quiet everything out, you listen to silence. And that's focus. And that's also energy cultivation because you're quieting everything else and letting belief and confidence energy enter you. That's energy cultivation, confident energy cultivation. That's psychological, like I said at the beginning. And meditation is real good for that. And the other thing is doing six breaths per minute. That's another one that's real good too. That's a thing that's real good for uh, um, uh, certain emotional problems, things like that. Uh, for uh, blood pressure, you know, to lower it, to relax, because it's mostly psychological than anything else. And so you do these six breaths per minute. And you can look it up on YouTube too. Six breaths per minute exercise. And they have all types of variations of them. Five, four breaths, three breaths per minute. That's even more like real professional breathers can do that. But everyone should be doing that. And you could also do it to 10 or 12 breaths per minute, which is more faster. The lower you get, the more slower. The more higher the number, the more faster. So, but I think the the lower is better, because it's more relaxing when you do things low. And um, doing those things in conjunction, all three of them together, will help a lot with uh, being able to uh, cultivate more chi energy, in yourself, and being able to um, to have that energy cultivation within your own. Because the thing is though is that um, I recommend probably like in the mornings to be able to uh, do a um, a koi gong exercise in the morning or at night to get some sleep so you could have it, it, it could give you focus and energy in the morning or you could wait for it and do it in the night time and that'll be good to let you go to sleep to relax everything but uh you can also do um um the breathing exercises you can do it as much as you want as long as you want this is the thing about breathing exercises that you don't have to do it for six breaths per minute for like about 10 minutes or whatever 15 minutes that's what they do on youtube but you can do more of that uh, by doing, um, you can do it for as long as you want. That's a form of uh, Buddhist uh, monk type.
type of meditation. You know, when you're doing these breathing exercises for like hours and hours and hours on end. And that is how you really go and transcend, you know, space and time and you go meet your relatives. That's like a real way to do it. But I recommend doing the breathing exercise in the morning. Uh, doing the... Um, Doing the breathing exercise in the morning, doing meditation in the middle of the day. I mean, uh, doing um, the Koi Gong in the middle of the day and doing the, the meditation at night. The Koi Gong is good because you're in the middle of the day, it's sun. You could do it outside in the sun. You could do it in the park. So you get that midday energy and rest. Midday energy rest by doing Koi Gong exercises. Like I said, the breathing <laughs> out, the hands going like this and like that, and focusing, and the legs are like going like this, like a karate stance. And you can do that, you can break it up, or you could do it all together in one session in a particular time of day, you know, and you could do it all within in a span of an hour, those three exercises. So it's up to you what you want to do. But uh, that's the thing is that um, it can really help with energy cultivation and most importantly for psychonesis, uh, emotional, um, emotional belief and confidence cultivation, which is also energy because you're thinking with your head, your brain. When you think, there's blood flowing, and that's energy surging. So that's en and, and when you're putting more confidence in your emotions, that's energy, emotional cultivation, cultivation development. So that's a good thing is that doing the cognitive exercises, doing the meditation, doing the breathing, going breathing exercises. That's good for just. It's very easy and it's very effective, and it and it, it helps uh, everybody, not only old but young. So I recommend looking this up on YouTube. It helps with psychonesis. It'll help you with psychonesis. But the thing is, though, what's really cool about it is that people that do these exercises, they're already preparing themselves to be able to do well in psychonesis because they're already cultivating all this energy. So um, maybe they're not doing it um, unintentionally, but once they start to learn about the techniques of psychonesis where you develop your intention and you suggest an object to do something, then... It, 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 it will be effective, you know, it's suggestion, not forcing, and it's confidence, and and doing side wheels of things that you, it's already in motion, you can control that motion, and the thing is, though, is that when you're practicing with psychonesis and side wheels, things like that, you're cultivating chi energy, emotional uh, confidence energy that lets you to get more better, but you have to keep that train of thought and hold your successes, continue to hold your successes Holding on to your successes in your heart and your mind will allow you to grow better and do better. So strengthen your foundation is that real good. So do these exercises, practice and believe in what you're doing in the side wheels, and you'll get more better. That's just the truth. So I hope this guys helps you. Hope this advice helps you. So take care, everybody. Have a good weekend, okay? Take care. God bless.